and sal- mm. So that again. Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome back to the journeyman. It's been going well. We've had um the winter break in which we've done absolutely fuck all because two reasons. Obviously, we we can, some of the players that will come to us are good, but we can't afford the wages. But also, um. The fact is, we're still offering part-time. So there's not a great deal of players that want to come to us. So I'm kind of like, I'm only really needing to sign them for this season. And yet, um, we don't need them this season. I'll let the new manager use his full-time wages and all the money that we've earned for them um, to, 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 to see how the club goes. Once we leave, we are going to keep an eye on this team because I think it'll be interesting to see where it goes. Amazingly, after Mondorf, we drew against uh, Rassing, 0-0, but then we beat AEK, deservedly so. Jules Dioff, the centre-back, getting a goal and Young Thiel with an 86-minute winner. Didn't mean anything for the group, but it did give us half a million quid, which is nothing to sniff at, lads. Um, then we played Benfica, not that one, and Couture scored a goal for us, 1-0. And then we had the 16 months winter break, which, you know, when it's slow loading, it took just to get through this period, took about an hour and a half to hour and 20 minutes of just hitting continue. Um, a couple of things happened. <laughs> One was that what I was doing, because it was just chogging along, what I would do is just go on holiday for seven days in the winter break, just so I didn't have to keep hitting continue. Trouble is, while I was on holiday in one of those seven days, the board offered me a new contract and I automatically accepted it because game and uh, a two year deal. I imagine like a one and a half year deal, um, which was fine. But my plan was basically to let my contract run out and leave at the end of the season. We've got a pay rise, £2,000 a week. I think my plan, we're two star reputation, by the way, now, boys, we've got some tens. Motivated, of course, man management. That's what I'm all about. But that's fine because what we're going to do at the end of the season, I think, because there's two options. At the end of the season, we start job hunting or at the end of the season, we just resign. And I think for the good of Dude Lange and to, so they can get a new manager in, we're going to just resign once we've won it all. Hopefully, fingers crossed, won the league. We will just resign and then we will go job hunting. And so that was that was a little annoyance, but that's fine. One thing, I almost rage quit the club. <laughs> After the transfer window closed, like during the transfer window, we were getting a couple of bids for um, our best player that I can't find. Um, where is he? Uh, there, Martins Pereira. Okay, so, like amazing player, probably far too good for this club. It's fair enough, but... It was from China, 300k from China, and then another team, maybe from, I'm not sure, some European league, they came in for a bid, and it was like 300k, and we're like, we don't need the money, no, 400k, no, 500k, no, and then it went quiet. January transfer window finished, and we're all good, and I'm just hitting holiday, 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 and then a Chinese team came in and bid £800,000 for him. And my board accepted this because it was too good to turn down. Bearing in mind, I've made them five million pounds this year. I was a tad annoyed at this. And there is the option when you see that, that the board have accepted to protest transfer. And I'm like, fucking jamming that button like it's going out of fashion. Smash the button. And then I said, look, you know, we shouldn't be selling our best players. And they were like, sorry, it's going to happen. And I was like, immediately... I was like, okay, I'm going to go all the way with this. I don't deserve to have my best player sold for 800k. If it was, if we didn't have all the money in the bank, totally get it. Massive amount of money. If it was an offer of 5 million quid, I understand it. Annoyed, but I understand it. But for 800k and we've got 5 million in the bank, I was like, okay. So I and then check the second option. Um, you know, I can't stress how important this is. And they were like, no, sorry, it's too good to turn down. I'm like, right, I'm going all the way with this. I'm going to go through the options. And then I picked, um, I, surely you must understand that the fans are behind me. And they relented. They pussied out of it. And then they said, okay, we won't send him. So they didn't sell him, but I was ready to quit. I was going to come back next episode and go, sorry, lads, uh, we're out of a job. <laughs> right. <clears throat> we are back from break. 
We beat Folaresh 3 1. David Turple with a brace and Mario Poker with a goal. So here's the league table. It's it's not a done deal in any way, shape or form. We're only three points clear. Una Strassen are battling for that fourth spot as usual. Viltz are battling to not be relegated as usual. But, you know, shows that we've left them in good positions that they can actually achieve. Right, so today we are playing Benfica again and then Hostert, which should be a couple of wins. I was going to do the thing where... I was going to play all three Thill brothers, like, all the time. But then we drew nil-nil with Rassing, and I thought, let's not be stupid. We're not... This is not Scotland. We're not Celtic, right? <laughs> we have to... We've got to still win this, and we're only, like, three points clear. So we've got to play the, like, proper team and because we're not good enough just to muck about and have play the kids and stuff. Oh, okay. Well, it's not for us, but I'm hoping... We've got one of the most gifted players. What's his name? Maxime Oliveira. Okay. They begin for the new manager. Okay. He's a goalkeeper. One star current ability. Fuck me. Um, yeah. Let's just click that button. Click that button. Click that button. That button as well. And then just... Where is it? Terminate trials. We'll we'll get the we'll get the other we'll keep the two right onto the game. Right, here we go. Coutier's just taken uh, got an injury, but Kakuko can go on the bench. We're gonna go Coulier on the left. Turple, he got himself a couple of goals recently. It's good. Um, Young Thiel came on and get a goal. We're, I'll give Muratovic another game. He's playing all right. Pereira is our box to box. Poker is the deep line playmaker. We've got the Spaniard at DM. Gobron is getting some game time at left back. Kuasi, who's just surprisingly good. I knew he's a decent youngster, but I actually didn't think he'd be in the first team quite as quickly as he has been. Duff is just the daddy. Letters on the left. And you are in goal. Right. Come on, boys. Let's just get this done. Okay. I want to get this done nice and early. I, I'm, I've got to be careful that we're not just getting, you know, we're only three points clear here, boys. <laughs> like, this is a done deal. But it, I feel like we should. But now we've got no European football. The winter break's done. We can just concentrate fully on the league. I think we should be okay. Bilts have gone 1-0 down. Oh. Go on, Bilts. Oh, uh, you know, we talked about the Beast. Unlucky. Because uh, he wanted to move to a bigger club. Well, he has moved to a bigger club. He's gone to Progress. Which is Progress, I guess. Poker. He does like a free kick. Scored a couple this season. Whips a low one around the wall. It's gone wide. Decent start, though, boys. Come on, Viltz! And Una Strassen are playing today. Ah, oh, the old three teams. Kawasi back post. Free header. And there's his second of the season. Just singing his praises. And the young 18-year-old Ivorian. <clears throat> Here's a question for you guys. Who would you look to take to the next club? I think it's a very interesting discussion. Not just because we love them, but players, you know, it's very much dependent on who we go to. We might go somewhere with no budget or, you know, it might even be a small step down to get better. I'm not just going to look for somebody that's got a higher reputation. It might be that, we, okay, we go to a slightly less reputation, but let's say it's League 3 in France that we can progress through and become a decent club. So <clears throat> it might be a case we can't sign anybody. Nobody might might not want to come. I think uh, Mart is it. What's his name? I always forget his name. Martins Pereira is definitely an option, <clears throat> and Diouf is an option. Kawasi is an option. There's actually a number of players I wouldn't mind taking that have really performed well for us. Martins out to Gobron. It's a decent ball in Turple. Come on, Turp. Says his eleventh of the season. We've been lacking a striker that's just banging in goals. That's the single biggest issue we've had this season in the league, is just not scoring enough. <clears throat> oh, nice. Look at that. Gobron. Look at him go. Go on, Gobs. Go on, Gobs. All right. Plays it off him. Martins comes inside. Is he going to have a pop? He is. It's... Fucking <laughs> hell. Hit it a bit harder, lad. Jesus. <clears throat> Turple. No... Mario Poker is definitely an option. I really like him. 
Pereira, as I said. Even somebody like the Terza, because he can play right back and left back and he's two footed. That's really nice. <clears throat> and then also things like if it's a if it's a slightly smaller club, then somebody like Smiggy Balls might be really good. Although I'm not sure how much he likes me anymore because I'm not playing him. But you know, life's harsh. I just had to sit through Man United getting beaten by Man City pretty comfortably. And I, you know, we did a live stream and I had to be a Man United fan for a day. Nobody wants to see that. That was awful. <clears throat> and they lost 2-0. So, tough times. <laughs> right, Gobron. He's, having a, he's doing really well. Right, poker. Watch this playmaking ability. Look at that. Straight to Gobron's left nipple. Coolio. Go on, Cools. Go on, Cools. Turple, turn and shoot. There it is. Muratovic. Belmin Muratovic with his second of the season. It's 3 0. And it should be comfortable from here on out. We've dominated them. <clears throat> Una Strassen a 1 0 up. Viltz have equalised. Come on, boys. Um. Don't have a left back on the bench. Let's get Kukoko on. <clears throat> Can't build to get the winner. That would be massive. Mondorf are bottom of the league, so you really should be winning this game. Yeah, so the beast is that progress who are fifth in the league, so that's not bad. Oh, don't Nuno Fred, don't give it away, lads. I'll, I'll tell them to concentrate. That'll piss everyone off. Come on, Viltz. Come on, Viltz. That's not good enough. A draw against bottom of the league at home. All right. Comfortable 3-1 win in the end. Sad about the clean sheet. But we are we are good to go. On to the next destruction. Who is it? Who is it? Union Sportif. Who are... Is that one? Six in the league. Strass in the top four, boys. That's nice to see. Let's go. Oh, it's a fan day. A great success. Excellent. I never see that in the message. Do, I, do we not get messages anymore that the next game is a fan day? Because that's kind of important. They don't tell you any. I'm sure in previous FMs they used to say that we're having a fan day. <laughs> right, on to the next game. All right, I think we just go again. Do we give Coolio another game? Um, go on then, Coolio. Go on. We probably can afford to carry someone. Might as well be Coolio, the legend, the man, the myth, the legend. Right. Hopefully, this will go as well as last time. We can just get it done. So after this, like, what my plan is is to go to the end of the season. I'm hoping at some point in the next few games we wrap up the league. If we win today, then, <laughs> and then what I'll do is we'll play the last game. And then we'll have a look at the team and chat about it and see your comments from last time as to who we think we should keep going forward. Kouassi's... Oh, that's Jules Diouf. I thought that was Kouassi again. Diouf's got himself a goal. Um, and then we'll go to the last game and then we will resign from the club. Oh, it's going to be sad times. I've enjoyed it. I've loved... Obviously, we're done. We're definitely done with Luxembourg now. But I really enjoyed... He's only got himself a brace, boys. The captain has got himself a brace. Ten minutes in, he's on his hat trick. Might have to play him up front for the last 20 minutes here for you. Decent. Yeah, so... Um, yeah, I've, I've, I've... Surprisingly how much I've enjoyed my time at Luxembourg. And I hope you guys have too. And it was really interesting doing something we don't normally do, which is normally we go to a country pick a team and then we pick another team in a different country, etc., etc. This time we've kind of worked our way up through the teams in the league a little bit, spending a season or two to finally end up at the big boys, make them go pro, mission accomplished. Oh dear, stump. Um, and then, you know, we should let our baby grow up. I'm going to say, I think it's going to be fascinating to see how do the land go over the next few years, especially European wise, because surely they're already, we're already, the, we've already made them the best team in the league, right? They probably already were beforehand, but 
They're going to be the only pro team. Oh my God, we're going to concede again. Oh my God. It's Dango Hendricks. It's two all, lads. It's not over yet. But it's going to be fascinating because they should walk the league like just not even close. They could probably play their under 21s in a couple of years and just win this league. <clears throat> but where do we go? Where do we come from? Cotton Eye Joe. Uh, Duff, hat trick. There he is. He's there. He's headed it wide. Um, obviously, it'll be, it's going to be massively dependent on the job market. But I'm thinking somewhere like... I've got, I've got, I would like to go to Belgium. Because I've, I've heard bad things about Belgium. Like the league system's weird. And I like... You know me. I like a confusing league system. It makes... <laughs> It makes the game very interesting. So maybe going to one of the most confusing European leagues, like Miratovic, Martins. Go on, Martins. He's not got the best shot on him, has he? They always look a bit soft. Um, young Phil. <clears throat> Where else? Belgium will be interesting. Denmark. Not really interested in, in Holland at the moment because we've got my Venlo save, which is on Twitch. Link is in the description. You can, you know, we're in Holland there. Um, maybe later on, <clears throat> you know, just pop into Feyenoord for a couple of seasons, win the Champions League, then, you know, run on. So, oh, hang on, hang on. Turpel! Oh, he's missed the sitter. <clears throat> Where else would be interesting to go? Turkey? Russia is definitely on my list of places to go. Um, and th there's no rules there's no set you know we're not going to go there because we did them last year's journeyman or whatever it's we're, we're gonna go with the flow man find some maybe interesting team names or you know always a bonus if they've got an interesting badge come on boys we can't draw this game <clears throat> Twenty 20 minutes left and they're holding us to a 2-2 draw Frustrated by the feedback. What, push forward? You're a fucking striker, mate. Oh, I'm fucking knobhead. Absolute knob. How can you be confused by push forward? <clears throat> right. <sighs> Looks like we're going to slip up, doesn't it? We're, st we're still plenty clear now because uh, there's no obvious second place team. They're all taking points off each other. So even though we might not go, you know, win every game to the end of the season, I think it'll it's going to be comfortable. Uh, no, I'm going aggressive. I'm not going to let him get away with shit just because we're clear at the top. We are now a number of games unbeaten in the league, which we will find out shortly, hopefully. There we go. 15 games unbeaten. The earth, though, what a, what a man, what a human being. He, he's a badass. He's a, such a good all round player. He, he's not our captain, is he? Who's our captain? I'm having a brain fart. Oh, Poker's the captain. Poker's, of course he is. Sinani. I don't know why I thought he was the captain. <clears throat> right. Job done. His knee's gone red. Four weeks. That's not on there. We've got plenty of options there. <clears throat> the league should be a canter now, so we're going to whiz on um, for the... Hopefully, we're not going to worry about the cup. Hopefully, we can do... If we can, we'll do a double header where we last league game the season and the cup final just to win the double. Job done. Right. Thank you very much. Let me know which players you're interested in keeping. You can pause this screen if you want to have a scan through. Yeah, there's a few. There's actually like a four or five. I wouldn't mind. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.